Well, it looks like former congressman and progressive firebrand Alan Grayson is running for the U.S. Senate. According to Florida politics, the Orlando Democrat has paid a qualifying fee to appear on the ballot to challenge Republican U.S. Senator Rick Scott. He joins nine others in the Democratic primary this August. They include Congress member Debbie McCarcel Powell. Grayson served twice in Congress from 2009 to 2011 and from 2013 to 2017. So, Janelle, does Grayson have any chance? I mean, he's got as much of a chance as Debbie McCarcel Powell, I suppose. Um, you know, he. Primer? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's been in it longer. She has is certainly more of an establishment choice. She's probably going to get more of the money. She's going to get more of the endorsements. But he's got his own money. He can throw at this race, um, and he's well known in Central Florida as sort of a larger than life character. He's a little controversial. Some people have even compared him to maybe a slightly more articulate Donald Trump because he <laughs> says it like it is. So you know, I, that type of gravitas might play well in the state wide election and if he were to win a primary and a general could play well with more moderate candidates who maybe you know don't love Rick Scott but don't want to vote for somebody like Debbie McCarcel Powell so Dan we'll see. Danny I was looking at this race there are nine independents running for the seat ten Democrats Rick Scott is being challenged by six fellow Republicans what does that say so many people in the race but even Rick Scott has challengers in the primary. You know I'll go back to effective leadership sometimes we gotta, gotta get beat down but oh. but personally I like to see a bunch of people in a primary. You know, let, let the top, let the, the cream of the crop rise to the top. As far as Grayson goes, you know, since leaving the office, he, he has lost every single primary he's been in. And I, and I worked with Darren Soto a couple times in some agricultural issues. And Darren said, Yes, who yeah. sat on the House Ag Committee and, yeah. and very supportive of ag issues that I hold dear in Florida. So, you know, he was a better choice than Grayson to be in that seat. And, and I don't see Grayson uh, moving forward. But again, let them all come out. Let, let's, let's see who wins. Mitch, Rick Scott is spending an enormous amount of money right now, $700,000 a week, mostly aimed towards Hispanic voters. He's going to do that for the next several weeks. $700,000 a week is enormous. Yeah, he's doing a low-key general election campaign right now. He, yes, he has some uh, competitors. He's going to obviously win this primary. Uh, and it's a battle. You know, you mentioned uh, this whole issue about Grayson, though. I talked to Grayson yesterday. He's like, yeah, I'm Rick Powell. They're talking about her. But, like, what's, have you seen any polls in the Democrats? And there hasn't been any Democratic polls. She is the establishment favorite. She spoke at the Joe Biden event. There's no question the party's behind her. Uh, Grayson has lost his last three elections in a row. He, ta I talked to, he also said he wants to put money in registration voter registration he says there's a lot of Democrats that aren't part of the, you know aren't registered right now and that's why they would narrow the gap in the state how's he do, do it is the question uh, so but you know let them all go for it I agree with you I like competitive primaries as a reporter Jennifer that's hysterical no I love competitive primaries I mean that's why I'm, I'm good with CD 13 having a bunch of, pri of candidates in it, it let, let the cream rise to yep. the top and I do believe voters like to have choices like that so I'm there but yes, I do believe the establishment ha is all behind DMP, Debbie Marcus L. Powell. And um, it's interesting that he got in. I mean, it might even bring some more attention to this race in general. So it could honestly, there could be a, a shiny side to that coin. Okay. And again, if they both focus on Rick Scott, <laughs> that helps them.